So as you can see, Your Honor, my client has already demonstrated that despite her past mistakes, Frost now only wishes to serve this city alongside our greatest protector, the Flash. Still, she's aware that justice must be served, which is why she's seeking a fair punishment, not only because it's the right thing to do, but to prove once and for all who she really is. She's a flawed person who has changed her ways and become a hero in her own right. Well argued, Ms. Horton. Counselor Strong, would the state like to make an opening remark? By her own admission, the metahuman known as Killer Frost is guilty of crimes that have endangered the peace of our city and the safety of our citizens. And the state finds it absurd that former DA would romanticize this narrative to avoid punishment. It's early and I haven't had my coffee, Counselor, but I don't believe the defendant is asking to avoid punishment. Agreed, Your Honor. But the state has one goal, to ensure that this extremely dangerous criminal no longer threatens our good citizens, which is why we believe she must have her powers erased. Your Honor, that is highly irregular. I'll decide that, Ms. Horton. Ms. Strong, please continue. In lieu of prison, the state moves to submit alternate punishment, that Killer Frost be compelled by this court to take the metahuman cure. You're here to make a statement on behalf of the defendant, if you please. I admit under oath that Frost hasn't always been on the right side of the law, but I can also say that she has put her life on the line countless times to save others. How so, Captain? Frost has fought alongside Earth's greatest heroes to save the world, which means that she saved every person in this room, including those who want to lock her up for being who she was, not for who she is today. And, Your Honor, I don't understand how this court can force Frost to take that cure without sacrificing what it stands for. Justice. <laughs>